Hello and welcome everyone to another exciting episode of the Super Carling Gaming Pokemon X Nuzlocke Challenge. In today's episode, we are getting out of this lost hotel area after we destroy this Magneton. Hold on, hold on. Uh, yeah, so I looked it up. If you recall, in the last episode, we were told that we were just not cool by a bunch of very not cool looking people. So, uh, I thought maybe you had to go like buy some different clothes to get to the boss or whatever. No, 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 no. It's way cooler than that, you guys. You have to go learn roller skating tricks. And it's not like, oh, go find the people and they'll tell you how to do it, but you can just look it up and just do it yourself. No, no, no. It is, you have to travel to four different people all over the place and learn roller skating tricks and then come back here and once you know them then they'll let you pass and the reward is you get a fifth roller skating trick so we're not gonna do any of that all right glad we cleared that up um i think someone is burned it looks like Xerxen. Burn? How no? How dare they burn the mighty Zaxxon? Look at this. Somehow, Fatterhorn is like one of our lowest pokes at the moment. That's unbelievable. Unbelievable. Since he's doing, he's always so wonderful and powerful and strong. All right. Moving on, though. Uh, have we made? Is this the end of the route? Is there more down here? Oh. Route 16. Uh, okay. I guess we should just catch something before we go through that door, right? String? Yeah. No, yes. But, but yes. Mm-hmm. Beautiful. All right. It's weird for the roots to just like, I'm surprised this doesn't still just count as route 15. Oh, fight? Nope, guess not. Uh, there's some tall grass here. This looks like an area rich with maybe like a rare TM or something. Ooh, ooh, there's a downstairs. Hello. All right. What could be in here? I don't know. Is this the Lost Hotel again? Oh, we're on the other side now. So there could be something cool in here as well. Maybe we'll keep fighting. Looks like you need to like rock smash your way through these things. I don't think we have rock smash. Mm-hmm. Oh, broom. we ran into something. Klefki. Fun story. Somewhere, I want to say, like, over on my Alpha Sapphire game. What? I have a very competitive Klefki. Who you do not want to mess with. Couldn't get away. Mm-hmm. I can't escape the Klefki? What is going on? I don't understand. Is it because I'm so slow? Don't make me bust out Chloe on you little keychain. <laughs> I know some people really don't like Klefki's uh, design because it's just a keychain, but I personally love it. I think it is a wonderful Pokemon, and I think it's like one of the most defensive types ever. It's like Fairy Steel, which you're like, yeah. It's hard to do much damage to this thing, unless you have a giant flamethrowering lion. That's all I'm gonna say. This thing is putting up way too much of a fight and it's becoming extremely annoying. Okay, that's what I thought. Get out. <sighs> My gosh, keychains, am I right? Hey, you. I'm not for skating, but I got a trick. Oh, oh, I thought she was gonna teach me a roller skating trick. Nope, it's just fling. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, that was something that happened. My butt was putting the whole bad guy act, so I copied him and ended up like this. Good story, man. Good story. I feel bad for you. Jacques Skuntank. Mm-hmm. Now, is Skuntank poison or is it just straight dark? That's the question. Oh, it doesn't matter because we're using... Fatterhorn, which also means that we are going to super duper power up punch this thing. Uh -huh. That looks like a poison type attack. Mmm. Special defense harshly fell. 
Unfortunately for you, we still have quite a long way to go on that front. And man, I love leftovers. So wonderful. Body slam. So typically, the entire Nuzlocke is like 30 episodes, maybe 32. This will be episode 30. And we don't even have seven badges yet. So, yeah, this game is a little slower moving. I don't know if that's because we don't have like the turbo button this time around or because the pacing of this game is just so unbelievably slow. Aftermath. Well, that's worth knowing about. My goodness, Aftermath. 69. Uh, Crawdont. Uh, uh, 69. Like, I feel pretty okay about just, like, body slamming this thing, but we have taken a special defense drop, and we're pretty slow, and we're kind of low on health, which is a very not Fatterhorn problem. So we're just gonna go ahead and do this real quick, because I don't feel like dying to this, uh, punk boy Jack. That'd be the worst thing ever. Night Slash. Let's see if he would have done it. Mm, it would have been pretty close, wouldn't it? Would have been pretty close. All right, anyway. Fight! Body slam. Now with two power... Oh, did you knock off our leftovers? You. You. Wouldn't dare. All right. There we go. Dead. Eek, please forgive me. Because I check out my coffee mug. It's a Carlin Brothers coffee mug available at carlinbrotherscoffee.com. I've got Carlin Brothers coffee in it. Also available at carlinbrotherscoffee.com. All right, end of promotion. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Do you want to fight? Both my mom and my old man are veterans, and my big bro's an ace trainer. I just couldn't stand to be able to go to two shoes like them. How boring can you get? Yeah, you're just so different down here. Also training Pokemon. Whatever. Good for you. All right, power up punch. A lot of dark stuff down here. Power up punch is nice. Oh, the fury swipes. It's my least favorite attack. It's like, not only is it low accuracy, but also it's not very good. We're just going to go ahead and power up punch again because it looks like it'll kill it and we'll get the attack boost for whatever's coming next. That's my strategy in this fight. I really wasn't expecting to have to come back in this lost hotel. I was just, uh, but the trainer battles are nice. I guess we can get more experience. I'll take that. Yeah, if I don't hold a 42. Ba boom. Mm hmm. Yeah. Boy, I can't tell you how annoying it would be if someone used knockoff on you and then, like, you just completely dropped the item altogether. I would hate that. Uh, now I bet we can just body slam this one down. Growl. Oh, of course they're going to lower our attack now. <laughs> Frustrating. After all our hard work power-up punching. Blah. Still dead. Ah, dumb cats. We had a cat. We still have a cat. <gasps> Man. I have to tell you, Zarkson fitting onto the team quite nicely. Everyone very impressed with his battle prowess thus far. Including me. My goodness, I don't think I took in the full power of the poison psychic typing, but let me tell you why it's amazing, or the poison dark typing. Let's see, dark isn't affected by psychic type moves, and poison is super weak to, po to psychic type moves, so it just like removes an entire weakness. So that's why it's good. My gosh, fats, no offense, but you were like not, oh, jeebs, okay. This is not your, uh, not your best position up there, all right? Just gonna say it. I'm just gonna rest this all off because this is being stupid. And we can get our health back and we'll get rid of the paralysis. And Yeah, okay. And then we're gonna switch out and then we're gonna run. Or we'll just flamethrower this thing because why not? Mm-hmm. There we go. We'll send in the big guns, you know, the big flames. Fatterhorn, I think, oh, he's not good at running from stuff because he's so slow. That makes sense. 
when you say it like that. Hmm. That might have done more damage to him because I'm pretty sure Electro Ball is uh, like a speed based attack. Anyway, it's not going to matter. This thing's going down. One, two, flint. No! Oh, it is sturdy. I was like, what are the. Uh, oh my gosh. You are going down right now. Gosh. That Electro Ball scared me. I was like, what? Can you imagine if Chloe who died? Ugh. Ugh. What would we do? Nothing good. It'd be bad news all around. Gotta be one of the coolest looking Pokemon on the team, right? We just have cool Pokemon on the team right now. Like, we can Excel Gore and Xerxen and Pyroar. Like, all just really excellent looking Pokemon. I have an Awakening. No. No. Why would you auto select that? We didn't even give you medicine. Although, we should move Xylia up to the front because of level reasons. Don't worry about it. It's fine. I don't know what I'm looking at this trash can for. Oh, a Litwick. Mm hmm. All right, we are going to get out of here. I guess Lapras is faster than a fatter horn, even though we're not in water. Bear with me here for a second. Oh, we found another fight. <laughs> I was totally expecting the puzzle music to come out just there, but thankfully, not yet. Dunsparce. <laughs> what a silly Pokemon. Although, also a fun fact, uh, the very first time I did a... Uh, a Nuzlocke for X and Y. I indeed had a Dunsparce. And it made it all the way through. So, who knows. The thing is, like, I have no idea. I, I never had any idea what kind of move it was about to learn. It just, like, it's got all sorts of weird attacks it learns. I can't even tell you what type it is. I think it's just normal. But it could be, like, water. It wouldn't surprise me if it was ground or electric. Like, who knows what that thing is. But you can catch it pretty early on. And I did once upon a time. So I've used the Dunsparce. And it's not as low on my list of Pokemon as I think it probably is for lots of people. Although, random thing. Um, I guess I learned yesterday that Sword and Shield is not going to have the full national decks. Which is weird, right? Like. Like, not every single Pokemon will be a Sword and Shield. And from what it sounds like, it's not like, oh yeah, we'll release them later. It's like, nope, they're just not going to be there. So, my only real concern is I don't know what <laughs> is included on that list. Like, if they're getting rid of stuff like Dunsparce, it's like, yeah, okay, whatever. If it's like, you know, Scyther's not going to be in the game, like, we got, we got beef. All right, this is something we can catch. This is the first thing on this route. What's it going to be? Oh, a pumpkaboo. Ooh, fun. Fun. The old ghost grass, eh? Frisk. Found the rocky helmet. Well, we'll see what you do with it. Uh, Let's go for the body slam. I don't think that'll kill it. Oh, the shadow sneak. Very interesting. Mm -hmm. I like shadow sneak. It's a fun attack. Yeah. Oh, didn't you... Oh, duh, we can't body slam. Okay, we're just gonna surf or ice beam this thing. Hopefully this doesn't kill it. Oh! Crud muffins. Well, I guess we're not catching anything on this route after all. Which instead means we're just gonna go ahead and go on to the next town. All right, all right. Why ain't, we guess this is like an item. This looks like an item rock, nope. All right, all right. Well, that was a super duper good what do you have you have free stuff hi okay thank you for telling me what's nice about windmills what about you you got free stuff nope okay what about roller skate tricks do you have roller skate tricks den to middle town yeah oh wait if this is the fight i'm gonna be upset oh it's you too huh 
How's your journey going? <laughs> you see, when I was younger, I visited many different regions. I met many kinds of Pokemon, and noticed how each place has its own distinct flavor. So I really came to enjoy trying new foods as a travel because of my adventures. I'm an expert in cafes. I love a Kalos. Great. I do not care. Come now, Dexio. I'm going somewhere with this. You better be. Do you remember the Pokemon Lysander mentioned that cat? Uh... Yes? I knew you would. It's called... Xerneas! Ah, according to material of I read, those who saw it somewhere overwhelmed by its power. They were able to say that this Pokemon resembled the letter X. Apparently, this Pokemon can control energy and gives life energy to plants. A Pokemon makes them full of vitality again. Wherever do you think a Pokemon that amazing could be now? When Kalos' legendary Pokemon loses all of its vitality, it goes to sleep in a secret place. I don't have a clue where it could be. The writings are mentioned it could only be around 2,000 years old, so it aren't much help. Well, I don't, I don't, just because they're old doesn't mean they're not helpful. It would be absolutely astounding if you found it, Jonathan. Or anyone, really, though, right? Maybe I'll look into religion a little bit. All right. Uh-huh. Great. Thank you for wasting my time with that information. Oh, my God. This is the Professor. I was hoping to have a look at my Pokedex. No, oh, well, I can stick at my Pokedex value with the Pokemon such as PC. Anyway, I'm heading over to look at Pokemon Frost Cavern and fill more of my Pokedex. All right, then. Thank you for all of the information, everybody. Windmills rotate just like a wheel of destiny. Oh no, rotation battles sound like a complicated thing that could result in painful death. It's like a berry field. Big, ooh, big root. That might be good for, um... What's his butt? Uh, Juge! What is your item right now, Juge? Soft sand. Okay. But I think the big root, let me see, where'd it go? Mm. No, this. Boost the power of HP stealing moves so the holder... Rec okay, so the question is, does that increase the power of Leech Seed? Because if it does, then I'm all in on that. Um, there we go. I will just assume it does, and you guys can let me know in the comments how it doesn't, and I won't read them, and then like four episodes, you'll be like, take the big root off of Juge. I will read the comments. It's tricky because like I'm recording this before episode 29 is out, and uh, this is episode 30, so it's hard to go back to which episodes, you know, it's like, uh, anyway. I'll take a dozen, thanks. I don't know if that was a good deal or not, but you know, you gotta support your local Moo Moo Milk Farms here. I'm a big mill tank guy myself. Ever since we had our lovely uh, Nova. Oh, this is the whole town? This is the whole town? Okay, uh, maybe we should heal up whilst we are here's the tiny place. Yay. Have you ever seen such cool looking Pokemon Nurse Joy? Have you? Have you? I doubt it. What? What's this? Something nasty afoot in a frost cavern. Mmm. Use the citrus berry. Oh, okay. Also cool. Mm-hmm. Deli birds. Wouldn't mind if that's not in the national decks. Or in the, uh, the other decks. Oh, wait. Is that a... Roller skating tricks! Ready? Ready? Oh, hold on. It looks like you could do it if you get enough speed. Maybe. Maybe I'm really bad at it. Maybe it's only one way. <sighs> Is there a gym here? Oh! Watch this camera angle! And camera angle! <laughs> like, they are really obsessed with that windmill. Okay, this town is bigger than I thought. Here we go. What's in here? Do you guys have free stuff? Yes. Oh, cool. All right. Oh, facade. That's, I think, where you do more damage. Oh, yeah. If you're, yeah, poisoned or whatever. So, I think there are um, Pokemon who will, there's like an item that will, like, poison yourself. So, I think... What some people will do is do that, activate facade, and there's like a different, um, I think there's some abilities that 
boost your Pokemon's power when they're like under um damn when they have like enough status effect or something. But then you could also use like fling or like swap or something to like them throw said item at your opponent, also poisoning them, but it's bad for them while you want it. One thing's like I guess the thing is like if you're poisoned, you can't be paralyzed or put to sleep or something like that too. So if you have like a big Pokemon, like I think Slacking is the great example for that because it has so much health and so powerful with its facade. One thing's okay. I feel like that was not a, a useful house. Where are we going here? I want to get to the Frost Cavern, I guess. Maybe we can catch something there. Mm -hmm. Oh, Frost Cavern. New area. Do you want to fight? It looks like you do. It's so cool to do that. You just came. You came at just the right time. Let's warm our bodies. All right. Vibrava. Oh, you're going down, bro. Is it hailing out here? Yeah, it is. Oh, gosh. You're so dead. Ice Beam. Yeah. I don't know if he's Dragon type yet, but if he is, that's the end of that fight. Yeah. I don't know if you should be fighting with your Dragon type up here in the snow, bro. Not exactly their kind of conditions. Put that smile off your face. All right, so it said Frost Cavern. Oh, what's this? Hey, hi. Hey there. Something wrong in Frost Cavern? Uh-oh. We better go find out what it is. This mammoth swine here. Usually can't get enough of giving people a rise on Route 17, but these days it seems like too worried about something going in Frost. Maybe something's going amiss. Yeah, that's what the guy just said. Trevs? I'm researching the distribution of Pokemon of the Chaos region. Pick up for Sycamore's request. Yeah, I see, so that's why you're walking clear out of the Frost Cavern then. Yeah. Mm hmm. I will. Thank you. All right. All right. Fantastic. Thank you for the update about something amiss in Frost Cavern. This guy is a Smeargle, almost no doubt. We can just leave him there. Photo opportunity. They're doing a bunch of camera angle shifts in this episode, aren't they? <laughs> No skating. I like how someone must have come in here and put the sign up. You know, like, no skating inside the cave. Okay, we'll know. We, you, you better not. <laughs> oh boy. Hey there, you look pretty strong. I'd be missing out if I let you go without a battle. Oh no. You gotta see what's ahead. It's ice skating puzzles. This is like a whole episode of like roller skating tricks and ice skating puzzles and oh no. You do blade. Ah, oh, yes. Uh, yeah, I know just what to do about you. Yeah. I know just what to do. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. That's right. Power trick. Well, that doesn't seem like it would have been a very good move for you, except maybe you have really high defense now. It doesn't really matter because. You're dead anyway, so. Bye. 44! The mighty Cloeo. Look at that. Look at that glorious mane. I guess it's like a full mane, but. Flowing in the ice. Maybe we should just put Cloeo up front, because I feel like there's going to be lots of ice Pokemon in here. Although, we can catch something if and when we run into it. So we're going to, let's leave, we'll leave Xylee up for the moment. We'll just body slam it. Oh boy, here we go. All right, we solved that one. Is there Pokemon in here? We can catch them if they are. Oh, ranch snow it melts. It matters not. An ace trainer does not like anything in his way. An ace trainer is always elegant in whatever he does. That is what it means to be an ace. Great. Great. I guess they're taking these titles a little seriously, but it's all good. Ooh, Raichu. Mm. That's all right. If you want to send out Raichu, that's cool with me, bro. You know why? Because I have a certain, maybe you've heard of him, his name is Juge. And, uh, I mean, he's going to he's gonna destroy you. That's what's going to happen.
Hey, Thunderbolt. I just learned about that move in town. <laughs> that was the worst tail whip I've ever seen. That was the worst tail whip I've ever seen. Raichu, do you have a pretty magnificent tail? Speed fell. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Just go ahead and uh, seed bomb you. <laughs> like, actually, you have to whip the tail. You're, like, giving me the smallest butt shake I've ever seen, Raichu. Oh, Marowak. Also going down. Dude, I'm not kidding. One of my new newfound favorite Pokemon is Alolan Marowak. Like, didn't realize until I played with it. And probably wouldn't have ever chosen to if I wasn't doing this like fire type. Oh my gosh. Run. But uh super good. Super good. Man. Freaking thrash over there. Yikes. That was insane. I must have out Juge. Can you believe that? Juge level 45. Golduck. Well gosh, he's still Cloud nine. Effects of weather disappear. Well, there's not really any weather inside this cave, so. Oh, this is our last hyper potion. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's probably not good. Anyway. Zen headbutt. Well, my goodness, it's a good thing we use the potion. Soak. What is this doing? Transform me into the water type. How dare you? I guess this just isn't going to be a stab seed bomb. All right. You're going down, bro. I don't know what the point of turning me water type was. I'm not sure if that... Gosh! Okay. Okay. You are really annoying. Like, just super. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Zen headbutt. Oh, the Rocky Helmet. That would have been hilarious if that's all we had to do. Just like switch and Rocky Helmet. Well, that is pretty much all we had to do. Good fight, Xylia. Whew. We did it. Boom. 43. At least everyone's getting a lot of levels in this in this gym. Not gym. Safeguard. No, keep old moves. We don't need that. Well, they will say that guy who had stuff, all of which was weak to grass, and he totally managed to uh, hurt my grass guy a bunch. So I'll give him props for that. I want to run into something. Let's go. Here we go. All right. What's it going to be? New Pokemon. Oh, Cryogonaut. I want to say somewhere in the depths of my Pokemon... My competitive Pokemon is also a Cryogonal. <laughs> because, yeah, I don't think it's very good at all. But I was like, no, it's cool, I'm doing it. Like, you need reasons to do it. I mean, whatever. Here we go. Light screen. It's a defensive Pokemon. Which is unusual for ice. Because ice is not a very defensive type. Weak to many things. Here we go. Let's go for the Dusk Ball since we are in a cave. I think Cryogonal is pretty cool looking. Myself. Yes. No! Come on. Acid armor. Oh boy. Light screen and acid armor. You are putting up all of the defenses. It's alright. We got you. Oh. Man, you think I could body slam it again now well, that it's got plus four defense? Hmm. We were pretty close that first time. I feel like we can get it. Yes. Yes, we got it. Boom. Victory is ours. 971. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
But who shall we name it after? That is the real question. Cafu! That's a fun name. Cafu! Welcome to the box, Cafu. I really like uh, Crying and all, overall, as a Pokemon. I think it's a very cool design. Uh, I feel like it's like a shield. It also a snowflake, so it really goes with the whole like defensive Pokemon. It looks like we've been going for about half an hour and I need to go to the gym. So I think we're gonna call it right there, but we caught a new Pokemon. We failed to catch a different Pokemon. We didn't have cool enough skating tricks to fight the, or to learn the best skating trick. I don't know, we made it to a new town. That's the point. Next time, I guess we're gonna figure out what's amiss in Frost Cavern. The rumor is something's amiss there. Maybe, or possibly, there's trouble at Frost Cavern. I don't know. There's a mammoth swan that seems pretty nervous, so maybe something's amiss. But we'll find out next time. Uh, otherwise, thanks so much for watching. Please leave a like if you haven't already. Subscribe so you don't miss any future episodes of the uh, Nuzlocke on Super Carly Gaming. Uh, I'm so awake right now, you guys. It's a, I'm so awake. Definitely didn't just wake up. Definitely not. No. Anyway, <laughs> I'll see you next time. Bye.